All right, so this is the Chinook Winds by Isabel, that's me, Connor, and Kat. So the Chinook winds, uh, or simply Chinook, are foam winds, which are dry and warm types of winds that form on the downslope sides of mountains. So the Chinook winds are um, in the interior west of North America, where the Canadian prairies and Great Plains meet various mountain ranges, specifically the Rockies. But um, although the original usage is in reference to wet and warm coastal winds, we're going to be talking about specifically the Pacific Northwestern winds that are created. So the Chinook winds are known for rapid uh, temperature changes. Specifically, it, the temperature tends to rise. So in record, um, it's shown on January 11th, 1983, the temperature in Calgary rose from negative 17 degrees Celsius to 13 degrees Celsius in only a matter of four hours. Okay, so Chinook is claimed by popular folk etymology to mean uh, snow eater, but it's really the name of people in the region where the usage was first derived. Um, the reference to a wind or weather system, simply a, quote, Chinook, originally meant a warming wind from the ocean into the interior regions of Pacific Northwest of the USA. Um, the Chinook people, the tribe, uh, lived near the ocean along the lower Columbia River. factors to the formation of Chinook winds start with warm, moist air coming from the, the Pacific Ocean. The air then starts to rise up the Rocky Mountains while adiabatically warming, and on the windward side of the mountain, moisture is dropped off. Throughout, there are different moist and dry adiabatic rates. The leeward slope is much warmer than the equivalent windward slope. Also, there's high turbulence, which helps to create an abnormal nocturnal temperature. The life of a Chinook starts off at the Pacific Ocean and makes its way to the east, where it goes up over the Rocky Mountains and then back down. Beyond the drop-off, the winds will create rapid temperature increases. Chinook winds occur all the time, but are most noticeable in the winter when temperatures are low. Alright, so Chinook winds have both positive and negative effects on human population. Um, they can raise the temperature and give relief from the cold, which makes people feel better, the warm air. Um, most people don't really like sub-zero temperatures, so it can make them feel better. Um, because Chinook winds bring warm air, they can dry out forests, which become hazardous in regards to forest fires, and they can also dry out the soil. Um, the high winds also can blow away the soil, which will result in soil loss. The abrupt changes in temperature can also cause pneumonia, shipping fever, and septicemia in the cattle. Recall from Medio 6 um, the feral and Hadley cells. Um, and in Chinook winds, the sinking warm air is caused due to this cell. Um, the feral cell, that is, and the winds are moving west to east because of the westerlies and are originating from the horse latitudes, which are between 30 and 35 degrees north and south, and the high pressures accompanying them.